Now then, how's it going? Are you up, campers? So a few of you, uh, we got feedback you didn't even know we'd been on Million Pound Motorhome. Oh yeah, Million well, Pound Motorhome. Well, you know, there's some things you just don't know. Yeah, the old uh, two seconds of fame. Yeah, that's it. Been gone. Been and gone. So, yeah, after we'd been to Kirby Lonsdale, we uh, drove back to Bradford. Mm. And, uh, yeah, um, it, it was a... Yeah, we, we've split it into two parts because mm. it's a it's a bit of a marathon. Quite eventful. Um, it's it's very dramatic, and uh, that's not clickbait. It is very very dramatic, mm. and uh, soap operas could not write it because it would be unbelievable. Mm -hmm. um, so part of it is in this one, and uh, part of it is in the next one. Mm. Um, but yeah, so we've got lots of hospital appointments when we go back to base we tend to schedule in hospital appointments gp appointments dental appointments trips around all the different family members and that is what they set out to be mm. on tech mm. um we set out to uh, have a bit of a family celebration mm. um celebrate mother's day mm. um a bit of a birthday a few medical appointments for us just sometimes you can't you can't fit everything in when we go no, back. So no. we've got to sort of. I mean, we always feel like we need an holiday after we've been to Bradford, don't mm. we? Because it's all one big manic <clears throat> rush. I think um, um, this time uh, but, events took over, so we didn't have time to do all the bits and bats what we would like to have done. But yeah. there you go. Okay, so I always like something for next time. Yeah, just have a watch. Not waffling much. Speechless. Me? Speechless. Hmm. Right, yeah. Another day, another hospital. That's life on the road for you. But look, it's pretty fancy. 1905. I'm presuming that's Bradford Union Hospital. Who knows? But yeah, loads of building work going on. Martha in her little spot. I don't know what's meant to part there like, but uh, not a lot. Right, so we'll go find out what's going on with uh, Mr. Van Dweller's kidneys, shall we? Maybe. Eventually. When we can work out how to get in. <laughs> we've been, we've seen, and his kidney function is back to normal. <laughs> so, changing medication really helps. So that's a nice tick in the box, isn't it, love? Very yeah, nice tick in the box. Well, they were talking transplant, but uh, hey. not anymore. Yeah. Yes. Woohoo! This shows you how some medications suspect you. Cures one thing, causes another. Causes another. Yeah. What do you so, do? You've got to do it, haven't you? I've got 82 percent kidney function, which is fantastic. Right, then. so. Uh, Look at this, love. How oh, fantastic is this? Yeah, this is, uh, this is one thing about Bradford, I have to admit, is the uh, architecture here is uh, lovely. It's, uh, look at them. What are they? Menorahs and minuets and look at all that gold. So much detail. Don't it trouble with it? Oh, you're going to tell them now? On a, on a disused railway line, I filled in with fog. I remember going on it when I was a kid back in the day. But anyway, it got filled in. There was a bit of subsidence, so they had to stop and do all sorts. But they'd already spent hundreds of thousands, so we're well, sorted well, now. We're trying to sort it out now. Yeah. But uh, it's fantastic, isn't it? Yeah, can you see why we like the Lake District to post to Bradford? Oh, look at it, guys. Oh. Yeah. Plenty of bits going on in Bradford. There is plenty of bits going on because it is 2025 capital of culture. So it'll be really interesting to come back um, when they've done and finished all the bits that they're doing to showcase it. And uh, maybe Bra Bradford will make a... Uh, a bit of a turnaround like Liverpool did. So we shall see. Yeah. Yeah. Right, we'll leave it there guys. 
and uh, off to see my mum for the first time since, uh, yeah, since November. We managed a sneaky little trip up when David had a last doctor's appointment, so uh, yeah, it's been a while. So, I've been to the hospital today, bit of a check up from my neck up, and uh, been given the all clear one of my aches and pains and whatever it is so we've come to Jet's mum's now I love coming to Jet's mum's because we get all sorts of lovely stuff to eat so I'll have a look in the kitchen check something switch screens switch screens screen switch Screen switch. Don't bother them. Screen switch. Press the button. Switch screen. Press the button. Oh, hmm, there you go. So Kitty. Them horrible things there. <laughs> Onions. Pass the sauce. Bees. Get it. Rice. Woohoo! Oof. Chicken and gammon. Chicken and gammon. Oops. Cooks well. Yeah, chicken and gammon. Wow. Out you go. Go mm. now. Yeah. Parsley sauce. It's mint yogurt. Oh, mint yogurt. Sorry, got it wrong there. Not parsley sauce. Mint yogurt. So I have a correction to make, it's not parsley sauce, that will come later in the week hopefully, it's mint yoghurt, woohoo, and I, sh I should have known because I've had some, um, I've had some poppadoms earlier, how do you know, well what can I say, so today is a chicken curry day, I just can't wait. <sighs> okay, okay. Catch you in a bit. Well, weirdest thing just happened. Um, we've just pulled up at one of his usual urban park ups near my mum's, and uh, well, um, there were some lads outside. They weren't bothering us. Dave asked them to move away from dark because they were upsetting our bob, and. Uh, They've, yeah right fine no problem and off they moved I'm cooking tea so I'm going to turn it off and uh, get a knock on the door police officer and uh, he says them lads I'm like yeah right they seem okay and I went well do you know what they've done I said no well, they've just broken into a business I went do you mind if I come in and check that they're not in your van went, oh yeah no fine so coppers have been in search master looking out for these lads absolutely weird Dave's out walking for a gin dog I'm home alone. What's that all about? Yeah, so it's all dark outside. Oh, let's have a look. Coppers have gone. So, yeah, no sign of the plod moved on. No husband, no Bob, just me and uh, two dogs and a cat. Well, that's what happens. Urban. Freaking urban, you don't get that at nurseries, do you? You get better light as well, because uh, we're off gridding, so we're saving light. Oh, well, weird. Cannot believe it. Cannot Adam and Eva. <laughs> Bath has been searched by plot. Uh, right. Catch you later. And what I forgot to say is when he were in here, his radio were on, and they're going, oh, and there's two lads running down the road with machetes 
machetes. Can you believe it? And then he turns it off. I'm going, <gasps> but yeah. So here I am. Like I say, I'll, uh, I'll call me Martha and Dave and uh, Bob Dog outside. But we're all right, aren't we, Smudge? Smudge? Smudge. Yeah, we're all right, guys. I've got Buster and Nipper to keep me company. Eek. That's better that like you can see me now. Not waffling much. Speechless. Me? Speechless. Mm. Right, yeah. Well, I don't think it was them that had the machetes. They were really polite lads, despite having broken into a business. Um, seemed all right to me, but obviously not. I'm not a right good judge of character. I'm too kind. Whew. Right then, back to making tea. Busy day. I like to try and capture a little bit of footage when Dave comes in and I have to try and explain what just happened. Never to be left alone again. Freaky. Right then. Oh. Hey! The Wanderer returns. Well, in Queensbury. So, yeah, we're, uh, we're in that village where that Rin Lindsay Radford comes from. <laughs> you know, from Roman Radfords. And like I say, place have just been and searched us because they uh, thought. Oh no, it did! Well, he asked if he it, could come in. It asked if he could come in and check whether they were here. Harbouring fugitives. Fugitives. Harbouring fugitives. And then you, you're just out walking, dog. What's that about? Just leave me here. Did you hear what he said over at radio? What? There's two lads with machetes running down Cooper Lane. <laughs> Only two. Only two. All oh, right. All oh, right, right, okay. Turned it off sharpish when I went. <gasps> yeah. Can I knock on your door and come in and just check you haven't got well, no, the he, he knocked on the door and then he would open it handle. What's well, that about? You could have said you got a search warrant. Yeah. yeah. I did ask. Yeah, he asked. Yeah. So <sighs> some kids knocked on the door earlier just to say hello. Yeah. Like they do. And Zebra then we just said to him I said to him, Don't knock on the door because he's uh, really a night dog. He went, Oh yeah, no problem. Your zebra, whatever it is, and all this like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I thought I'll take dog out and just show him that we've got a big gnarly dog, <laughs> vicious Bob dog, dog that'll just lick him to death. But they don't know that, do they? No, he it does. It looks the business, doesn't it? And then uh, place guard turned up. Huh? Well, left me to deal with it. Well, you know what I mean. Yeah. And then kids are. Off. Uh, yeah, no kids. They went fast enough. So yeah. yeah. Right. So shall I get back to making tea then? I think excitement over for tonight. It's usually a nice little quiet park up this. It but is normally a nice little quiet park up. Who knows? Well, might be after off at least after tonight. I know. It is a few months since we've been, isn't it? Mm. Mm. Wow. The thing right. is, that outside van is you'll see them all. There's some little seats where they can have a little bit of a sit down and a yeah. Like you do, like you know, your kids. There's nowhere to go now, is there? There's no. We don't mind teenagers just sitting outside. It's when no they, you get the you know. yeah, you can't yeah. you don't get the boy racers here, do you? Revving up and just, playing the music. So don't mind them sitting outside and do what they want, can't they? They usually go for eleven o'clock, is don't they? Yeah. I feel but, sorry for kids nowadays. They don't know how to play football, cricket, or whatever it is okay. round us. I but yeah, seek. yeah. So Martha's been searched by Plod. That's it. We mean she been searched. They came in and looked. Well, what was that then? He, yeah. want, he says, can I come in and look and check that they're not in here? Arbring. Is that not searched? Uh, Arbring, da da dangerous criminals. <laughs> yeah. That's how it starts. Yeah. Anyway. Right. Drama over. Yes. So we'll say good night because, you know, we're, we're sort of sugared. Cause we've we'll been say good night, sugared. Jack. We'd be Night, everybody. <laughs> One thing I absolutely love about Bradford getting to shop in here guys so I didn't want to take you in but uh, yeah £40 all stocked up way up campers now then I saw last night's park up not scenic in any way but it's free and uh, it did its job so we're in a place called Shipley She's not far from Bradford, it's a visiting family. But, uh, 
one thing about it, I mean it's quite nice and quite a little side road. <laughs> you couldn't ride it, could you? But you're only up, skipping a jump, and this it's uh, Leeds and Liverpool Canal. Yeah. So we'll have a quick look over here. And, uh, Getting uh, nice and clean. Oh, look, I hope. There's a nice little, there's a little marker here. It tells you. Canal. Look at that look, 12. So it's 12 miles to Leeds going. That way, or how, how many leads in Liverpool? How, do you think, how many miles do you think it is to Liverpool? Come on in. 115. Wow. That'd be a right old journey, wouldn't it? In a, in a boat. Yeah, maybe not. So this goes into town of Shipley. It's not a far walk. Yeah. But uh, we're moving on in the next half hour. It's uh, dentist time for Jet. It should be nice, won't it? Many some lucky enough, I suppose, having a dentist sometimes, isn't it? Yeah. Right then. Catch you in a bit. Not a nice morning today, I must admit. Oh, let me tell you. Hey, shut up over there. Hey, shh. He said, I thought you'd be carrying on. Oh, okay then, carry on. Yeah? Must be that time of year, I think. Got to find the. I think they're already paired up, look, so... Oh, so there's enough of them, look, isn't there? One of their uh, last year's chicks. That mum and dad over there. And these were baby, babies from last year, maybe. That's a bit of a mess behind there, isn't it? Look at that. Not good. That pathway there. I don't know where that goes to. Right then, ready for moving on I think, back to the bus. Like I say, Jet's got the uh, dentist today. Oof, I tell you. Right, come here. So the drama continues, you'll have to stay tuned to the next one to find out what all that's about, but that was um, scary. Um, and uh, yeah, so Martha got searched, or, or did, did she? <laughs> or did she, yeah. Oh, come on guys, you tell us, was that a search or was that not a search? They asked if they could come in and have a look for them. Is that not searching? Maybe they thought they were all, there must have been about six or eight kids. They must have thought they were all ours. We were like, you know what I mean? The thing is, he didn't do a right through a search because we've got underbed storage, he didn't look under bed, and he didn't look in the toilet area. So, you yeah. know, he, uh, yeah, I think he just wanted a nosy at Martha's decor, really, been, didn't he? I could be like Fagin. Fagin of the van world, have little kids going around robbing places and yeah. stuff. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, yeah so. Yeah. Anyway. Thank yeah. you for um, sticking with us and watching it. Yeah. If you managed to get to end, well yeah. done. But uh, <laughs> that that first appointment that David had, um, we'd had an appointment about six months ago, aren't we? And uh, his kidney function had dropped dramatically. And mm. they were really, really concerned about his kidneys. And they were saying that 
that uh, he was headed towards a transplant list um, and uh, they wanted to take him off some medication and uh, a side effect of it was that it would affect his kidneys um, mm. or a side effect of the medication is it could affect his kidneys and uh, when he came off it they uh, remeasured afterwards so and without medication With medication. There you go. Right. <laughs> anyway, so but the medication is matter, absolute. Is anyway, the medication yeah, is absolutely toxic. Yeah. They use it I to know, treat childhood leukemia, uh, and he has been on it for years. So anyway, they took Ooh. him off it, and the good thing is they did not think that his kidneys would recover, and they blinking did, cause he's a Superman. Mm. Do, do, do. Yeah. So we got some absolutely fantastic news, um, followed by some absolutely devastating news. Mm. So thanks for watching this. Mm. Um, stay tuned in. Mm. Thanks for subscribing. Mm -hmm. If you want to know when we upload that next video, then do hit that notification bell and uh, put us your comments below about what you think is being searched. Yes. Searched <laughs> and, or uh, having a look. Is it searched or having a look? No, being searched. Hmm. And uh, we'll see you again soon. Yep. So Bye. thanks for staying with us, guys. See you Bye. later. Bye.